Olivia Newton-John is a beloved and iconic figure in the world of entertainment. With her mesmerizing voice, stunning beauty, and incredible talent, she has captivated audiences for decades. From her breakout role as Sandy in the film Grease to her chart-topping hits like Physical and Hopelessly Devoted to You, Olivia Newton-John has become an international superstar. But few people remember her hard life, courageous battle with cancer, and tireless humanitarian efforts. You'll learn the whole truth about Olivia Newton-John only in this video by hearing her untold crazy life story. Welcome to the magazine channel. Subscribe if you want to know all about celebrities of the past. Olivia Newton-John was born in Cambridge in 1948 and moved to Australia with her parents and two siblings when she was five. She was first noticed on a television talent contest. The attention led to local TV work and an eventual trip to London that kickstarted her early 70s music career. She toured with Pat Farrar, the other half of her act, Pat and Olivia, and joined the group Tomorrow, even starring in a 1970 movie about the band. By 1971, her solo career was rolling, and by 1973, she'd won her first Grammy for Let Me Be There. They were such happy times. More awards and successful albums followed. She scored hits on the country and pop charts with Have You Never Been Mellow and I Honestly Love You, which won the 1974 Grammy for Record of the Year. The release of the 1978 film adaptation of the successful Broadway musical Grease made Newton John an international star. Set in the 1950s, the film told the story of two teenagers in love from two different social worlds. Newton John portrayed the virtuous cheerleader Sandy opposite Travolta in the role of Danny, a rough around the edges but tender greaser. Audiences fell for the fun, catchy music, engaging storyline, and appealing performances. It became one of the most successful musicals in movie history. Unfortunately, Newton John was unable to replicate her earlier success with her next film, Xanadu, in 1980. Attempting to cash in on two popular trends of the time, roller skating and disco, the movie bombed, though the soundtrack did well. The movie eventually gained a cult following. Newton John hit the charts again with the song Magic. She changed her image for her next album, Physical, in 1981, going for a more sexy, athletic look. It featured the hit single Let's Get Physical. While she continued making albums in the mid-1980s, Newton John's musical career quieted down. She focused on other aspects of her life, including launching a chain of clothing stores called Koala Blue and starting a family. Newton John married her Xanadu co-star Matt Latanzi in 1984. They had a daughter, Chloe Rose, in 1986, and they later announced their separation in April 1995. Newton John's life took a dramatic turn in 1992 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. I draw strength from the millions of women who have faced this challenge successfully, she said in her statement at the time. This has been detected early because I've had regular examinations, so I encourage other women to do the same. Her treatment, which included a partial mastectomy, chemotherapy, and breast reconstruction, ultimately lead to the creation of the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Wellness and Research Center in Melbourne. In the decades since, Newton-John become an advocate for cancer awareness and research. Back in the spotlight for the 20th anniversary of the release of Grease, Newton-John released Back with a Heart in 1998. The album featured a new version of her classic hit, I Honestly Love You. Newton John tackled a subject very close to her heart with 2005 stronger than before. As a cancer survivor, she donated a portion of the proceeds to cancer research and she recorded songs she thought would provide hope and courage to cancer patients and their families. It includes the track Can I Trust Your Arms, which she co wrote with her daughter, Chloe. The following year, Newton John made the album Grace and Gratitude available only through the drugstore chain Walgreens. Filled with music intended to help people relax, the recording was designed to complement a line of Newton John's wellness products for women. Newton John spent much of the fall of 2006 on tour to support her new album. Newton John continued her advocacy, leading a walk along the Great Wall of China with other cancer survivors to raise funds to build the Olivia Newton John Cancer and Wellness Center in Melbourne. She released a celebration in Song, 2008, in conjunction with the charity walk. 
Newton John reunited with Travolta for the album This Christmas, 2012, which featured traditional seasonal hits like Baby, It's Cold Outside. The following year, the artist received another cancer diagnosis, though she didn't reveal it publicly at the time. In May 2017, Newton John postponed a North American tour after learning that the cancer had returned and spread to her lower back. She underwent radiation combined with natural remedies and continues to have a positive outlook for her future. I'm not going to be one of those statistics. I'm going to be fine, and I will probably deal with this in my life as an ongoing thing, she told today. I think that you can live with cancer like you can live with other things, if you take care of yourself. In addition to her advocacy for breast health and cancer awareness, Newton John actively supported various environmental causes and charities. In September 2018, Newton John revealed that she was battling cancer for the third time. The singer told Australia's Channel 7 she had a tumor at the base of her spine and was undergoing radiation, eating healthy and taking cannabis oil for pain relief. I believe I will win over it, she said. That's my goal. Unfortunately, Newton John died on August 8, 2022. Olivia Newton John is undoubtedly a beloved and iconic figure in the world of entertainment. With a career spanning several decades, she has left an indelible mark on the music and film industries. From her breakout role in the film Grease to her chart-topping hits like Physical, Olivia Newton-John has captured the hearts of millions of fans worldwide. But it is not just her talent that makes her special. Olivia Newton-John's philanthropy work, especially in the field of cancer research, has also made her an inspiration to many. In 1992, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and became a prominent advocate for early detection and raising awareness about the disease. Her commitment to helping others has made a lasting impact. As we reflect on the extraordinary life and career of Olivia Newton-John, it is clear that she is not only a remarkable entertainer, but also a compassionate human being. Her dedication to her craft, her resilience in the face of adversity, and her genuine kindness have solidified her status as a true legend.